So uh, for those of you who missed the explanation of the 95% confidence interval, um, the 95% confidence interval tells us the range within we can be 95% confident the population's actual mean falls within. So when we do our experiment, we're gonna get a mean, uh, in this case, final length. We're gonna get a mean final length in this experiment for our sample that we were studying, but that isn't necessarily representative of the whole population. Uh, so when I calculate a 95% confidence interval, I get an interval that uh, is that I can be 95% confident that the mean actually falls within. So when I look here, uh, we were analyzing the effects of different types of fish food on the final length of a particular fish. So budget food had this mean final length, ball mart food had this mean final length, fish o -matic had this one, and fish to whale had this uh, mean. Now, when I, what I wanna do though is compare the 95% confidence interval uh, bars that I have on each of my graphs. If the 95% confidence intervals overlap, like we see with budget food and ball mart, or ball mart and fish and matic, or fish and matic and fish to whale, then what I can uh, reasonably conclude, uh, I, can, I can reasonably conclude that there is no statistically significant difference in the budget food and the ball mart food in the effects on the final length of any fish that we feed these, uh, these foods to. However, if the 95% confidence intervals do not overlap, then I would say that there is a statistically significant difference between uh, the two test groups. So in this case, the budget food 95% confidence interval does not overlap with the fish to whale 95% confidence interval. So I can say that there is a statistically significant difference in the effect of budget food versus fish to whale food on the final length of the fish that we fed them to. Why is that statistically significant? Uh, why is it diff statistically significantly different? Because I'm 95% confident the mean final length for budget food falls in this range. I'm 95% confident the uh, actual mean of fish to whale uh, fed fish falls in this range. These two ranges do not overlap. So that means the actual population mean is probably not the same for these two different fish foods. However, when the 95% confidence intervals do overlap, then there's a reasonably good chance that the actual population mean of these two foods um, actually would potentially be the same since we are 95% sure the, the final length of the fish fed ball mart falls in this range and 95% sure uh, that the final length of fish, uh, fish fed fish o -matic falls in this range, there's a good chance that the actual means are the same or very, very close. So these two are not statistically significantly different. So I hope that helps. Um, and let me know if you have any other questions.